So, you have a secret base, and you don't want anybody to find it. But, you have to get into the base yourself. What I'm going to show you is a couple of ways to create a hidden environment, or a hidden door for your base. So the first one we're going to look at is a lava base. Now obviously I'm in creative mode. We'll walk through here and you can see you might get stuck if you don't know where to go through. So we've got a, a lava environment and there's a pressure plate that's connected to redstone going all the way up here with a redstone repeater over a whole bunch of dispensers. In each dispenser there's a bucket of lava. Now the problem with this specific entryway is that it is quite slow to open and close. But it still works. It is the cheapest one but as you can see it takes a long time to actually load through. Now what you want to do with this as well is once you're in your base and you want to then exit the base you need to go and enable this lava wall again so you'd want to run through or you risk getting burned now one of the things you need to do for this to get through is to actually use a bow and arrow so if I go and get a bow get myself some arrows So what you would want to do is make sure you know where your entrance is. So I've marked my entrance here, but you, you, you don't want to necessarily mark this, but you'd want to know where your entrance is. And then all you do is you shoot your arrow through. And when you've shot it in the right position, it will actually trigger. And then you can see the hoppers basically switch off. The lava wall will slowly come down. And this is the problem with this is it takes a long time to do it and you can see that it hit the pressure plate and there's the arrow sitting on the pressure plate so now obviously it take, takes a long time to wait for it once this is done you can then hop through into your base and you can pick up your arrow so again if you want to switch it on while you're in your base you basically just walk over your pressure plate and it will automatically switch on so that is the first one so that will give you a wall of lava. Now obviously it's not, it's a wall of lava. Someone could still look at it and go, oh, that might be an actual special secret entrance. Now this is moving on to the slightly more hidden. Oh, that was unintentional. All we want to do is we've got, so what you, with this particular one, you need to have a lever with you at all times. Otherwise you won't be able to get in. So either lever or redstone torch, but redstone torch is slightly harder. So with this, someone might come in and they say, oh, I found their loot. There's 64 diamonds. But little do they know that you actually have a special door here. And you need to know where to place your actual lever. So you place your lever, switch it on, and your special secret door opens up and you can go in you'll have your whole base and oh look at that lots of diamonds so this is the second one this one's a little bit more complex it uses uh, six sticky pistons it uses a whole bunch of repeaters and redstone uh, but this is still a very min vanilla minecraft solution so it doesn't rely on any mods and later i will go through on in other videos i'll go through and actually build show how to build each of these so the next one is an actual lava pit so with this we can take uh, this doesn't have any item filters at the moment it's, it's again just vanilla um, it can be changed a little bit more if, if you change the way that this is set up so that the lava doesn't actually have this gap in the middle but at the moment it has a gap now what you do is you throw your item in there it doesn't get destroyed by the lava because there's an actual hopper over here. That item gets sucked up by the hopper. It closes off these two sections. And you've got lava on either side. You just have to wait for this lava to disappear. And then you can hop into your secret base. So there's a... Go. 
staircase and the way we prevent the lava from actually falling through is by using a bunch of signs so this again and there's your secret base where you can store all of your items so with the two it's got two hoppers at the moment the hoppers basically drop the item into the chest we've got a redstone comparator that noted that will know when there's something in the chest and then the repeater and that gets run through on the other side and over here we've got a whole bunch of dispensers uh, sticky pistons which has got um, stone connected to the top of them and this will basically push them up and the same thing gets done on the other side that's all it is it's basically double so if we go back out with this one this one is a little bit problematic you'd have to get a uh, uh, and I wasn't quick enough but your timing would have to be right so there are some better solutions um, for the actual door itself than that you'd have to put some kind of timer in there so that it doesn't um, close that quickly so then on to the next one this one is again vanilla but this one works slightly different you don't actually put a we don't put any item up we don't put a, a switch up there but what we do is we actually drop an item now you need to again know where to drop the item you can see nothing happens with that item we drop the item again nothing happens and we have a torch over here drop the item and it disappears into the wall this one um, just in order to make it a little bit faster I actually used a drawbridge, drawbridge from Tinker's Mechworks instead of this solution over here with the sticky pistons but you can use the same sticky piston solution this is just a different way of actually creating the actual mechanism that will allow you to open or close a door this one is a little bit easier to work with what you would do is switch that lever on you go back down here pick up your redstone the way that this one works is it's actually got a hopper but there's a special block inside the wall here we have a hopper cart that's actually compressed down inside a stone block which allows it to pick it up and then drop that into a normal, normal hopper and then we're using a couple of things in here rest and torches and repeaters to actually switch that on and off you'll notice that um, this has got a, a redstone torch here this is powering that block the redstone torch is actually off this is just in order to to flip this the other way around so if there's an item in the chest it will actually create a signal this will switch off which will open it up it's in order to reverse it otherwise you would not it, when you have an item inside the chest it will be closed instead of open so the reason i switched this lever on is this lever will basically go and power the same block so that when you go outside of your base you flick the switch and your door is closed again in order to open it up you basically go and throw your redstone uh, or any any item basically a torch any item that you throw in there will actually open up the door so then we move on to a more advanced system now this requires uh, this will require some mods um, what we're doing here you, you can do it with some with a hopper contraption that will actually filter items but what this is basically doing is this chest will receive items now i've got a couple of uh, build craft transport pipes here this specific one is an obsidian transport pipe but it needs power now i'm powering it with a creative energy cell but you can power it with any any redstone power you want this will even work with the redstone uh, let me find one with these redstone engines those engines don't require any fuel that'll just use a redstone signal so you can just switch them on with a with it with a lever but basically what you would do is if you have four of those and you power this on every side it will generate enough power in the subsidian to actually suck items through now the cool thing about this pipe is that it can actually suck items through two layers of blocks so if i go in here and i threw say my torch down you'll see the torch straight away got sucked up and it actually gets pulled through this so if this was my floor and my base was underneath um, again you can change this and actually use the the same wall mechanism on the other side to actually get inside and you'd have this underneath your underneath your floor but what this will do is you'll see notice nothing nothing opened up so what this is doing is these items get sucked in 
through this obsidian pipe and it goes into this chest. But you'll notice that the torch is in this chest, it doesn't get sucked out. The reason for that is that I've got this emerald transport pipe. So the em emerald transport pipe can be configured. So at the moment I've configured it to say only allow diamonds. So if there are diamonds in that chest, so this allows you to, to open up this gate or this door to your base only with a diamond. So you can pick any item you want, configure this, so unless you've got that particular item, it will not open up this door. So it will basically take that diamond and pull it into this chest, which will then power this block, which will switch this off and open this up. So I'll show you if I go in here and we pick our diamond. If we throw the diamond, you'll see that it will open up once it sucks that in. It takes a little while because it has to filter it through both chests. And there we go. And we can get back into our base. And to close it, you basically take the diamond back out of that chest. And it closes up. So with this, obviously, you need to some other way of getting out of your base. Uh, because obviously you can't climb up. Now, it, it does work. You can climb on top of that, but it can be problematic because it can actually sometimes suffocate you inside the wall. And that's how you get that working. So this, this is just to filter the items. You can then take this and incorporate that into any of these other types of doors that you want. So I'll go through some of these things in more detail as to how to build them uh, in other videos. Thanks for watching.